Hi, Mary Ann Rooney here at the Santa to the Sea Half Marathon, and we've got Hollywood stars here too. Sean Astin here was in uh, Rudy and also 51st State. Yeah, so, yeah. so what brought you up to Oxnard today? Well, there was a race. <laughs> the Santa to the Sea race. Uh, I, I looked up, uh, I've been training for a marathon coming up, and I, I looked it up, and we live in Calabasas, my family, me, and I just thought this would be beautiful. Everybody meet lovely people. It's a great spirit. We brought toys, brought in a toy and put it in Santa's bag at the beginning of the race, and um, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. Well, we live in a wonderful place, and down here at the Santa to the Sea, there were about 2,000 runners this morning. So Most of them passed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad that you participated. Um, 15. Christine's 15. This is her first half marathon, and she came in in under two hours. Wow, Amazing. that's great. And where do you live? Um, Simi Valley. Okay, good. And who's this mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my second daughter. This is my daughter's best friend, and she's like a second daughter to me. And yes, we, uh, we've been training together, and uh, so yeah, we want to do the, uh, her first half marathon together. They were that's so cute great. running together. They didn't break a sweat. <laughs> I, they, they didn't break a sweat. I started out really fast, and then as I started slowing down, the two of them came, oh, hi, nice to see you, and then they just kept right on going. That's great. So there were about five charities that are supported by this race today. So was there one in particular that you decided to support? Well, I, you know, you kind of trust the uh, the event organizers when they list all the charities. And I'm not from the area, so but you know, you, you, everybody contributes. Obviously, kids who uh, are don't have the benefit of uh, you know resources get the toys and stuff. So hopefully, they'll enjoy it. it. It is, and I mean, it really has been. This is the fourth year, and it's been growing every year. And uh, we also provide. There you go. A support. I have one too here, and um, all of the. Uh, the, there's money that's donated to our local community college for scholarships so we've, we're sending that uh, kids to school in addition to supporting the kids so thank you so much for being here we're glad that you're here we hope that you're back next thank year for covering it these events you know are so beautiful the community comes together everybody's happy everybody's exercising and for the local news to come out and cover it is the right thing to do so that's great sean Aston here at the santa to sea half marathon on kdytv.com Hi, Mary Ann Rooney here at the Santa to Sea Half Marathon with Tracy Lair. How are you, Tracy? I can't believe you found me looking like this. <laughs> well, we were just looking for all the pretty girls around here. And you got Sean Astin, not, not a pretty girl, but wow. I know, it was very exciting. You know, I mean. He must be fast. Because he was just hanging out, right? He was just hanging out, eating some oranges, That's talking fun. to people. It was really exciting. So, look yeah. at my ornament for my tree. Isn't that great? I can't wait to go to my kids. So. so tell us a little bit about the race and what you it, saw along the way. It was so fun because people dressed like trees. They dressed like, I, I, I thought they must be really good runners to wear that extra rate, weight. So, But it was such a fabulous run. You're over in Nylon Acres. You're at the Santa. Everyone's dropping off toys. And, then, and it was cool. And then you go through all these really neat parks of Oxnard. You end up on F Street and G Street, which is a competition of yeah. decorations, you know, we call it Candy Cane Lane, and um, go by the mayor's house, you know, we would know that, and that was really fun, and Brian McDonald's house, city council member, and then you turn down Woolley, and you're going by all these beautiful new developments, the strawberry fields forever, and then you're in, I, I drove, I, I ran past my condo and dropped my jacket off, and, uh, and, and, and a little radio I was listening to, and then you come out by um, Embassy Suites, and you see the ocean, and you think, wow, Oxnard has it all. And then you come in, you know, this little area, and it was really well marked. Every mile it, there was a big sign, and they gave us drinks and something called goo, which was pretty gooey. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was very, very fun. And I, I went really slow, so I knew I'd finish strong, and I feel fine. That's great. So when you were coming in through the, uh, through the shoot here, I mean, did they announce your name? They did, and I was embarrassed because I was like two thirty something. So. And did they tell your age? That's what they did you know to what? some of the other people Paul here. Paul put me up to this, and when I gave my thing, I said I was something. I was something <laughs> and they said well are you going to win and I'm like no so you don't need my age that's but right it doesn't matter at all there was a 77 year old that ran oh, a 5k goodness. today I, I saw someone I might have seen her there was a woman an older woman and she had a marathon jacket on from Niagara Falls and she had the LA marathon t-shirt on and I'm like wow you are something else and she had a long great and ponytail and I thought what an inspiration it really is I mean we had a lot of people out here this morning um, there were about 2,000 people 2,000 runners Absolutely. You know what was really fabulous too is there were messages along the way about how melanoma you know, harms people and it was nice that it wasn't sunny and there were messages from say uh, the Jaguar, uh, Land Rover Jaguar, we're going to give you water in half a mile. So there's all these little fun things. There were bands playing and it was it was just really well organized. Hands down to Mike for doing it. You know, Everyone should try it once. And the funniest thing was I'm a news junkie so I'm listening to NPR News and I'm, I'm going through like the industrial area of Oxnard listening to the story about how two-thirds of all women in the United States are overweight and I'm thinking what an interesting
interesting story while I'm trying to work off my, you know, yeah. what I what I eat every day. And it's just, it is a fun way to get an endorphin high. That's it's great. a natural high. That's and great. It's fabulous. And you know, there are about five charities that are supported right. by this race. Each chair is, is the one that Bob and I are always talking about and Bonnie Weigel. But I know people really came out for their charities because the boxes of toys were so high, they were almost halfway up uh, Santa. So, yeah. and there's places here to drop. And there is a donation for the scholarship stocks in our college. Oh, right. So we're helping, you know, people going back to school in Oxnard College right here. Uh, Are you going to do it with us next year? Yeah, you know, um, my husband's a runner. Right. No, thanks. I mean, I might do the 5K. But um, so, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, so when you were running um, down G Street, um, did Brian McDonald come out on? No, but I saw his wife drumming in front of City Hall. Yep. She's with the drumming group, and she sang the national anthem. Yeah. Uh, it was an amazing moment, and they, they it was just very patriotic at the beginning. Well, on G Street, you know, the mayor lives right there, right. but he was running in the 5K this oh, morning. Oh, he was. He's he was. Fast. I saw and Bill Fulton. He's the former mayor of Ventura, and he's he's a fast runner, too. Yep, and uh, Mayor Pro Tem Pinkard oh, was here, so and nice. Supervisor Zaragoza. Wow. So we had everybody out here wow. running, so it's really well, great. It was delightful, because I usually jog on the beach with the dog, really slow on sand, so I really went my normal jog. Oh, I see Spence from KVTA. Come over here, Spence. Come on in here. Spence claims he walks these races, and see, he's got sunscreen on. I think he's eating a brownie, too. <laughs> Come on in here, Spence. We got Tom Spence from uh, KVTA. Oh, excellent. Uh, hey, Tom. So, uh, how'd you do uh, uh, as far as did you set a PR today? I did. It was did a great you? race. Yeah, I didn't train for it, and I came in at 228. Oh, my God. My goal was Fantastic. 250, so I you beat that walked, one. Did you? I didn't walk. You didn't, I didn't no. either. That was my goal, was not to walk. Yeah, I think the Galloway was good for me. Yeah, seriously, I, I think I it was. I looked for you everywhere. I must have been like eight minutes behind you, but I kept. Knew, I knew you were there. I saw Bill Fulton. Yeah, Fine. Mayor Fulton. I'll he, tell you, he, he ran in two seventeen. He he moved it. Wow. He did very well. That yeah, is, really quick. Isn't it a fun uh, to see all the sights and then the ocean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was a beautiful run and uh, well done. Uh, police officers, everybody watching the right. corners, going through uh, F and G over there at the yeah. uh, for the Christmas. There, there was fabulous. Some really cute officers too. That helped. That kept me going. <laughs> I didn't notice that the part. Yeah. So um, you know, there's five charities that are supported by this uh, race. So was there one? We, Tracy and I talked about Food Share being one of their favorites. You is there one for you? Wanted. Yeah, Food Share is uh, probably the biggest one with Bonnie, you know, that we're attached to. Other than that, we do the Children's Services Auxiliary, because I know this is also a component of getting toys for kids, right. which is fantastic, because, you know, we all have it easy when you, you think life's tough and you're out running 13 miles in a beautiful city, walking into a harbor like this. We actually have it pretty easy, so it's the essential. Fact that you can run. Mm -hmm. I, I used to be a, a, with Achilles Track Club and would run with disabled athletes, and there were wheelchairs out there. And just knowing that you are able bodied and can run is the whole blessing of it all. Am I looking too mysterious? Yeah, I actually did. I read them. That's what I did on my water stops. But it was a, a terrific run and a good time. And uh, just you thanks to everybody who set this up. I, everybody came out and is supported by uh, the local running stores and really a good job all around. So happy, happy, happy. What are you we are, we uh, are really happy with uh, yeah. Mike Barber. Yeah, these are, I'm, I'm running in my old Brooks from the, uh, I ran Brooks in high school and this is a Brooks shoe. Well, I have these new ones that I got uh, from... Uh, Hi, Mary Ann Rooney here with Mike Barber, who's the organizer of the Santa to the Sea. You've done a great job. Well, thank you. All my hard work all year long paid off. Here's the... Here's the proof of it right here. You know, it's really exciting because you've got your car all designed with the Santa to the Sea uh, race on it. And how many people did you have today? I don't have the final numbers, but I think it's real close to 2,000. Wow, that's really amazing. Yeah. And The start was awesome. Really? The start was awesome. Oh, my God. It was great. Lots of energy out there. I hear yeah. it was really great and exciting. Yeah, and did everybody bring the toys out there? There was a whole pot full of toys, and they're going to be coming down here uh, once they load up at the start and to pick up the toys down here. Wow, that's really exciting, and you, and you also collect money to give out to the scholarships. Tell us about that. Well, $5 of every entry fee goes into our Santa to the Sea Scholarship Fund, and last year we did 30 scholarships. We hope to do more this year. We try and help students that are going into college. We also try and help older people who are lost their job and are trying to reinvent themselves or get new skills. Wow, that's great. You know what? This is really amazing. The fourth year, I mean, did you envision that this was happening this well? I didn't think it would grow this fast, but I think <laughs> it's just all the hard work is paying off. Yeah, you're doing an amazing job, and we appreciate your leadership here in the community and the vision for this race, and it, you did a great job. Thanks uh, so much. Everybody's having a good time, so that's, that's, right. that's the most important thing. Mike Barber, Santa to the Sea. 
race is here. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hi, Mary Ann Rooney at the Santa Dunn Sea Half Marathon here. You probably recognize this guy, Santa Claus. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Merry Christmas to everybody. So did you check the list? Am I on the naughty or nice list? I think you're at the top of the nice list. <laughs> That's great. So you had a nice little ride coming in today. Tell us about it. Uh, it was a real nice ride. I was riding on uh, the ladder truck for the Oxnard uh, Fire Department. And uh, it was a quite a scenic route. It was uh, a real nice, a real nice, real nice ride. That's great. Well, it's 46 degrees out here, Santa. You're probably used to that being at the North Pole, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Especially my reindeer. They they like that weather, you know. Of course, they're not here with me today. Yeah. Well, this is a great, uh, great race. And were you out at the start line? Yes, I was. Okay. And we were talking about 2,000 people that were in the race this year. That's what I understand. There was a little over 2,000. We had a really good turnout. Very good turnout. So, a bunch of wonderful people here. Right, and a lot of people brought toys, you know, so that helps you lighten the load a little bit and delivering the toys to the kids. Yes, it does, and we want to thank everybody for doing that, and God bless them. Yeah. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you. Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, the yeah, try yeah, running walk. down yeah. in uh, Camarillo. Try running's and look, store. I've got the oh, little Santa, Santa socks to this. My husband left them on the dresser this morning, so at least I felt like I was nice. part of the race at all. I'm inside track New Balance because I have really wide feet, like duck feet. Yeah. <laughs> and they really wide feet. It's really great to have the, have the support. So Mike Barber did an amazing job That's with terrific. this race. Fourth year, and it just keeps growing and growing. I hear there were over 2,000 runners today. Yeah, this will be a signature race when you just look at the idea of where it is, but then the hook, Santa to the Sea. It's and people qualify, great. and it's yeah. such a fast run, right, because it's flat for, for fast runners. Right, so um, the woman who won the half marathon, um, this was an Olympic trial for her, and she was, this was her, you know, little uh, first run. It was a trial for me of Olympic twins. proportions, but <laughs> oh, that's exactly. a different story. Yeah, the twins finished in second place today, and um, they finished just, you know, just a couple seconds apart. They were good. Wow. They were from Dayton, Ohio, so we had that in common. So, Excellent. yeah, they're trading here. Oh. Buckeye. Me too. So, we'll have to represent. talk about that. Stop. <laughs> oh, H. All right. Well, thanks for letting us. T.O. I.O. You're Good supposed to say I.O. Here we are at Santa to the Sea. Hi, Mary Ann Rooney with Bonnie Weigel here at the Santa to the Sea 5K at Channel Islands Harbor. How are you this morning? Oh, my gosh. Merry Christmas. I feel the spirit. These runners are awesome. I know. It's really exciting. And Food Share is one of the charities selected by this. So how would you get involved with Santa to the Sea? Mike Barber, an angel that we all know in the community, he said, come on out. We want to have you be one of the five. It's a great chance to build exposure and raise some dollars and some awareness about our hungry in Ventura County. That's great. So one of your uh, your employees, Jean Benitez, Jean, she was running. Jean we love our Jean. He, she wanted to beat her time off the treadmill, and she did. She did. She you know, she came in here, and she was really happy about, about the finish. So this is really awesome. There's a lot of energy going on down here. Thank you, Marianne. You're always so good at sharing the good news. And, you know, you were out at the start of the uh, half marathon out there. What was the what was the scene like out there? So much fun. Costumes. There was snowmen, elves, Santa, Santa's elfers, and everybody bringing those toys, bringing them up to where the big Santa was. It was beautiful to see. Oh, that's great. So anybody out there want to help support Food Share during this time where it's a very critical time for Food Share and serving all of our hungry here in Ventura County, reach out to Food Share and Bonnie Weigel, CEO. Thank we love you. you. Here we are at the 5K Santa to the Sea Race with Mike Powers, CEO of the County of Ventura. How are you doing? Uh, I'm upright. <laughs> need, need a cardiologist, but other than that, good. Well, we might be able to arrange that anyway, so at least you're breathing at I this breathing. point. The last guy said he was glad he just didn't throw up in the race. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to have big goals. That's good. So is this the first time you've run this 5K? It's the first time I've run this 5K. What a great turnout. What a great day. Celebration. You can even celebrate in 48-degree weather. That's impressive. I know. Well, here we are, you know, in Oxnard. I mean, lots of activities going on and everything. So is anybody else that you know running in this race or the half marathon? Absolutely. Team John Zaragoza for the United Way is running along with Dave Smith. So they reached their goal over $1,000 to raise for United Way. So uh, anyway, it's, it's a great day. That's great. So this uh, event supports five different charities. Was right. there one that um, was more important to you than the others or... Well, they're all important, but I'm on the United Way board, so, uh, <laughs> and the chair and the executive director is here, so. Well, that's great. <laughs> but so they're all good. We have a great community here in the county. That's great. Well, thank you so much thank for running here, nice and here we are with Mike Mike Powers, CEO of the County of Ventura. I'm at Santa the C5K with Mayor Tom Holden. How are you doing? Well, I'm a little winded, but I'm doing great. Well, you're standing. I'm standing. I didn't stop running. I made it the whole way. Yeah. That's great. So, yeah. uh, what did you see along the way in part? Oh, it was great. It was great. What a what a great scenery. Number one, number two, the uh, number of people. Uh, 
runners, professional runners, kids, families, dogs. I mean, it was it was a great, great venue. I can't expect to I can imagine what the uh, half marathon is. Yeah, you know, I mean, there must be some great pride in seeing all these people out here and at at the uh, other start of the race of the half marathon too. Oh, yeah. So I haven't, I haven't I haven't done this in 20 some years, so. I'm just, I'm just glad to finish. <laughs> Good for you. Well, I'm glad your bag's holding up yeah. and that you're out here. And yeah. thanks so much. Here thanks, we are, Mayor Tom help. Holden. Merry Christmas, everybody. God bless. Hi, Mary Ann Rooney here with Jean Benitez Hi. from Food Share. How are you? I'm great. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Really challenged myself out there. So, uh, how, how'd you do? Did you beat anybody of importance out there? Myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been practicing on my treadmill at 3.3. In an hour, so I don't know whatever I came across. I know it was less than an hour, so that's all I care about. Well, it was a whole lot less than an hour. I mean, yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, when other people are out there running, you want to catch up to them. I'm thinking, I can't let that lady beat me or that little kid. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. And Food Share is one of the charities here yeah. supported by the Santa to the Sea. So how do you feel about that? I feel awesome. I've been getting calls all day, all last week, people wanting to donate in our behalf. So it's been really exciting. Can't wait till the next one. That's great. So is this the first time that you've run? Yes, it is. Okay. But not the last. Great. We'll get, we'll get Bonnie out here next year. Jean Benitez with Food Share. Okay. Thanks. Here we are at KADYTV.com at the 5K Santa to the Sea with Pablo and Julianne. How are you guys? Good. Great. It's a great morning this morning. That's great. So it was only like 46 degrees when the race started. How are you feeling? Well, I actually feel real good. I've been training for this. I broke my time. I uh, My best was a 42.30, so I, did, uh, I, I broke 40. So uh, and Julie doesn't work out, and she broke it with me. Well, that is awesome. So the mayor came in ahead of you. How do you feel about that? I feel great about it because, you know, that's his position, number one. <laughs> well, good for you. So lots of things going on out here. And is this the first time that you've run it? Yes, it is. Yeah. First time. And probably well, not the last. watch it because they go by our house as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So this supports five different charities here. Is there one that, that you support more than the others? We do them all. Pablo is very involved with a lot of the different charities. That's great. So here we are, 46 degrees at Channel Islands Harbor with Pablo Ortiz and Julianne here, Santa to the Sea. Here we are at the Santa to the Sea 5K with Irene <laughs> Pinkard. How are you? I'm better now that it's over. So was this run harder than the campaign? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Still no. <laughs> so Mayor Pro Tem, Irene Pinkard, is this the first time that you've run this race? No. Uh, I used to run uh, 10 years ago, but I stopped and I wanted to get started again. So this was my first attempt to get started after 10 years of a hiatus. That's great. So you beat Supervisor Zaragoza. I haven't seen him yet. No, he's behind me. <laughs> but the mayor did come in. He was still standing. So I know. He, he shot out there and I said, well, bye. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, thanks for being here. A good time. Good here we are at the Santa to Sea 5K with Supervisor John Zaragoza. How are you? Well, you know, a little tired, but you know what? Uh, I did it. You know, and the important thing is that we did it for the children. We did it for United Way, for Santa to the Sea. And one of the things that we're doing over in Ireland is uh, we're probably going to give out about 2,000 gifts to underprivileged kids over in, uh, in Ireland. And also, last year we gave uh, 25 scholarships to Oxford students. And hopefully we can probably double that this year. But it was just fun. And I thought I was in good shape because I have walked almost 19,000 <laughs> homes, you know, in my precinct walking. And, and uh, well, when you have to run and walk, it's tough. But I loved it, and it was great. And, by the way, we met our, our United Way goal of over $1,000. Wow, that's so great. We're very proud of you, Supervisor Zaragoza, and thanks for being out here and supporting the Santa Cruz 5K. And thank you so much again to all of Oxnard and all the runners from throughout the country. Thank you so much. Survived. You survived. Well, that's part of it, isn't it? Well, it's a big part of it when you get to be my advanced age. <laughs> Dave Smith, CEO of United Way of Ventura County. So this is going to be great in supporting your agency. Yeah, we're uh, delighted to uh, be one of the uh, charities of choice this year for the uh, Santa by the Sea. I think we uh, raised about $1,200 or so, which we think is terrific. Uh, hope to be back out here again next year. It's a great event for the community, not just for Oxnard, but for the for all Ventura County and the region. I saw that you had some of your board members out here, so maybe you're going to have to make it a challenge to all your board members to come out at least for this uh, fun run, yeah? We challenged them. We got a few. Next year we'll get more. Or then maybe they'll pay not to be here. <laughs> I think some did. Absolutely. Well, congratulations for being part of the Santa to Sea 5K run.